I remember my early days of motherhood like it was yesterday. We were so excited that God had blessed us with a beautiful and healthy baby girl. But on the other hand, I was filled with so much anxiety and overwhelm because I found motherhood to be challenging. Having to take care of another human being, still having to show up as a wife and having to rediscover who I was after having my daughter. It was really a lot. So I put my dreams and my goals and my hobbies in the back burner. I postponed my journey of self-discovery and I just put all my energy and all my efforts towards the demand of demands of the household, the demands of motherhood and the demands of marriage. I forgot about my needs and about self-care. I actually believe that I succumbed to the societal myth and the conditioning that says that as a mom, when you go all in in pursuing your dreams and your goals, that you are in a way putting your kids at a disadvantage, that in a way you are being a bad mother. So that vicious cycle continued for about four years. And I remember I used to snap a lot, which means it took away the joy of motherhood. And I became a resentful wife as well because my husband still continued to pursue his dreams and his goals and I was wondering why is this guy so happy and doing all the things that he wants and yet I discovered that I was giving, giving, giving without ever taking the time to fill my own cup again. So that cycle continued until one day when my beautiful daughter came back from preschool and she was telling me about the discussion that they had and that when she's bigger she would like to become a doctor. What she asked me next is why we are doing this video today. She said, Mama, what do you want to be when you grow up? The question stung. I was so surprised. But in the heat of the moment, I just brushed it off and I said, I'm already grown, my love. But after that, I literally took it to heart and I asked myself, Busi, what do you want to be when you grow up? And that actually led to the realization that I had lost myself in motherhood. That I had given everything, given up everything and just focused solely on being a good mother. So that question unlocked a journey of self-discovery. It made me believe in my God-given dreams and talents over again. It made me believe that motherhood was not designed to put women in a box, that it was not made to tame us. It made me believe that as a woman, as a mom, you can find fulfillment both inside and outside your role of motherhood. And today, this journey has led to the production of the beautiful journal, Mommy Dreams the Journal, which I created for you as a mom to pursue your dreams, to reignite your dreams, to just get back to asking yourself what it is that I really want for myself outside my role of being a mother. I designed it to help you create a plan that you're gonna follow as to how you're gonna take care of your responsibilities as a mom and still show up for your own dreams and your own goals and your own desires. The journal is designed to help you overcome your stumbling blocks, overcome the things that have stopped you in the past and to change the story that you keep telling yourself to overcome your limiting beliefs. It's a journal that I designed to help you pursue and achieve all your dreams as a mom because indeed motherhood was not made to tame you.